Since her discovery, Baby Luba's frozen remains have traveled across four time zones, and everyone hopes she's arrived intact. She has been carefully maintained below freezing to prevent potential decay or bacterial invasion. And she's been sealed in a vacuum-packed plastic bag to keep her tissue hydrated for easier study. She's in good shape. The scientists are relieved to see that their careful preparations have paid off. Her trunk is in good condition. It's good that nothing's nothing's happened in transit. Yes, yes. All right, very good. If we lose too much water, it will be harder to study. Good resolution of X-ray images is more difficult on dry tissue. For this scan, the team uses a thin wooden capsule to keep Luba cold. Dr. Suzuki's scanner enables him to identify the precise location of Liuba's internal organs. The aim is to create an anatomical map of Liuba's insides. The map shows scientists where to look in an eventual autopsy while minimizing damage to her body. With this data, Dr. Suzuki will produce two-dimensional cross-sectional images from trunk to tail, and ultimately recreate Liuba's entire body in 3D. And here we go. We come from the uh, tail. Oh, you can see all the mineralization, yes, the mineralization. inside yes, the, the bones. The intestines. This is the liver? In there? Yes. Okay. Mm. It's a heart. Mm -hmm. um. OK and coming to the neck. Until now, no one really knew the state of Liuba's internal organs. Lamelli, because we see them in the stack, sort of moving by. Every, every bone is perfect. Yes. Mm. Wow, well, that's very promising. Mm. Three days from now, the team so will now reveal the first new thing. images inside this extinct woolly mammoth. While in Siberia, the inside story of Liuba's discovery unfolds.